Hello, and welcome to the June edition of Signal Boost. I'm your host, Callie Pruitt, Senior Strategist for Grassroots Advocacy on APS's Government Affairs team. And here's your science policy update. Starting this episode out with some great news, the APS Department Chair's Congressional Visit Day took place virtually earlier this month in conjunction with the Department Chair's Conference, and it was a roaring success. 25 physics department chairs from around the country came together to take more than 45 meetings with members of Congress and their staff in just a single day. Similar to the CBD, which took place in February, members talked about research funding and COVID relief as the top line issue. APS continues to push for the immediate relief funding that's needed to put the U.S. scientific enterprise on the trajectory necessary to fully and quickly recover from this pandemic. In addition, sustained robust funding from the federal science agencies is essential to maintaining the United States innovative edge. With that in mind, our members ask once again that members of Congress ensure the vitality of the U.S. scientific ecosystem by first including at least $25 billion in relief funding for the federal science agencies, as outlined in the RISE Act, and second, prioritizing robust funding increases for key federal science agencies during the annual appropriations process. APS members also talked about other key issues during their meetings, including combating sexual harassment in STEM, broadening research opportunities for students at emerging research institutions, visa and immigration issues, and support for the NSF for the Future Act. I've said it before and I will say it again, these constituent meetings with members of Congress and their staff are the most impactful way that we can get our message to translate meaningfully into legislation. In February, our CVD team laid the groundwork on many of these issues, and now each one has a piece of legislation to address it. Each time we meet with Congress, we move the ball a bit further down the field, and I thank each of our incredible advocates for taking the time to participate. In addition to CBD, APS led a multi-science society effort through late May and early June to garner broad community support for the NSF for the Future Act. The legislation aims to accelerate American innovation by expanding NSF's use-driven research and strengthening NSF's curiosity-driven fundamental research programs. The reauthorization bill also includes provisions to address a number of APS's policy priorities, including broadening participation in STEM. The community sign-on letter launched by APS gathered more than 1,650 signatures of members of the scientific community. After receiving it, the House Science Committee posted the letter on its support page for the bill and shared it with the Speaker of the House's legislative team. Thank you to every APS member and member of the science community who signed on to this important letter. You can find a link to it in full in the description. Finally, a new APS Government Affairs issue brief released this month revealed that more than two thirds of the international first year physics PhD students who were slated to enroll in the fall of 2020 are still not on campus. The combination of travel restrictions and visa delays stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic, along with U.S. visa and immigration policies that dissuade rather than attract international students, has created a significant hole in our nation's STEM pipeline. Maintaining U.S. competitiveness requires immediate action by the State Department to provide a clear timeline and guidance for international STEM graduate students currently waiting to obtain their visas to study in this country. And it requires Congress to pass visa and immigration policies that will attract international talent. If you'd like to learn more or read the report yourself, you can find it at the link in the description. That's all for this edition of Signal Boost. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.